How's everybody doing today? Do you know you're awesome? Do you know Jesus loves you? Do you know you're his favorite? Well, we're given a word. You know, Jesus has a lot of words here. <laughs> he says, stay in the word. This is how you know who he is. Uh, when you um, have a relationship with Jesus and you talk to him. You say, Lord, I love you. Thank you for healing me. What can I do for you today? Well, I made some sandwiches today. We're going to go pass them out to the homeless here on the streets. You know, they're everywhere. You know, if you love Jesus, get out of your house and there's broken people all around. Go give them something. Go give them a drink of Jesus. They're all hungry and thirsty. They need some love. You know, they're broken. They're trying to seek through it through other things, and we need to tell them that it's only through one thing, Jesus. And we have a living, a living uh, river of life living inside of us. And we need to be his hands and his feet, you know, because he's worthy of it all. You know, Jesus went to the cross for us. What a sacrifice. So we need to lay our lives down for him so that he can uh, be honored and glorified through our life. You know, I always tell Jesus, it's like, it's the least I could do for you for healing me. You know, he never walked away from me. I was a broken, shattered mess. He never said, I don't see you, Wendy. I'm just going to, you know, ignore you and walk away and, and um, leave you destitute. No, Jesus didn't do that for me. He stopped and he said, I love you. I love you. You're mine. Do you know who you are, Wendy? That's what he said to me. I really didn't know who I was. But you know, when I got Jesus, he revealed to me who I was. I'm the apple of his eye. He loves me. He desires me to have a relationship. You know, and his love doesn't fluctuate. He loves me uncontainably, unfathomably. And this love never fails, you know. And that's great. I'm thankful today. So, we're going to be in the Word. The Word is great. He wants me to read Philippians 2. Philippians chapter 2. Just be obedient. Whatever He says, do. You'll be blessed. Blessed. Blessed, blessed, blessed. We're blessed everywhere. No matter what. You know? And it's awesome. So... Here we go. If, if there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels of mercies, fulfill you my joy, that you be like-minded, having the same love, being a, in one accord and of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than ourselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which also is in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in, in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God has highly exalted him. And gave him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus. Every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in the earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. Wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which works in you both 
to will and to do of his good pleasure. Do all things without murmurings and disputings, that you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Yea, if I be offered upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. For the same cause also do you joy and rejoice in me. Thank you, Father, for your word. So, Jesus wants us to, to be obedient to him. You know, we're called according to his purpose. He has a great purpose for us. And we, and um, it's, he's called us in an appointed time. You know, the gifts are, and the callings of God are without repentance. So whatever gift that he's given to you, you're able to walk in. And we just um, focus on uh, the, on Jesus. We just look onto the um, author and the finisher of our faith who because we were the joy that was set before him so he endured the cross so we just stay fixed on the alpha the omega the beginning and the ending he knew us before we were formed in the palm of his hands he placed us in our mother's womb he knows our name but the very hairs on your head are all numbered he loves you he knows where you're at right now and he wants us to come in communion with him and um, and just say, Lord, I need you. I need you. You know, I don't know you, but will you reveal yourself to me? I need help today. Help me, Jesus. That's all that he wants. You know, he wants a willing heart and a willing mind. And he can work in us. He can do miracles, signs, and wonders through your hands. This is what he uses. You know, he has to use us. And, um, you know, I'm thankful. Um, I just wake up every day and I say, Lord, what can I do for you? You know, who can I bless for you? What do your children need from you today? What would make you smile today, Jesus? You know, and it's, and he's worthy of it all. Whatever we can give him. And um, what a joy it is. And just um, invite him into your heart and resist the devil submit to god and you will see um, that all things are made new and all things are possible through you jesus loves you